Monica Sweetheart Morris again. It is Tuesday, June 9th. <sighs> what can I say? Monday was rough. Monday was a little rough for me, but getting back at it after a weekend of uh, half days, you probably can tell that I'm a little exhausted mentally. Also not wearing makeup, which is, you know, I prefer it that way. Today I have my MBE my first MBE workshop with our workshop instructor. His name is Chuck. He's amazing. He literally specializes in this stuff um, for the MBEs and he's very knowledgeable in learning how to make the right choices on the very intense multiple choice portion of the bar exam. So we're really thankful for him and he knows how to make it fun and make it a good time. So I appreciate that. Now I am currently waiting on lunch. There it is right now. Um, I'm going to take an hour break and I'm going to get right back into MBE studies for today. Most of our Barbary assignments are not like extensive today in particular. Right now we have just finished towards and we're preparing to go into another subject which is contracts. So today our um, assignments are more so review based in preparing to hop into a new subject matter with lectures, practice, etc. So. I will be doing that. In addition to that, I will be practicing MBE portions of the uh, MBE questions for that portion of the exam today and really just trying to take it easy as possible um, before hopping into a new subject. The mental strain that this has on an individual cannot really be explained it's an active engagement with staying mentally enthused or mentally have that endurance it's something you're gonna have to do actively it's also going to require an active involvement in maintaining your mental health and and reserve um, your mental energy because it is so all too easy to get lost in the sauce lost in what you should be doing and you know uh, what resources you should be taking advantage of it can be easy to sort of uh, grow exhausted by those things one thing that I have uh, used to really help me is actively learning how I learn of course that's something that we some of us learn in law school but not all of us uh, but also it's something that I have actually learned a lot about in this book called The Introverted Lawyer by Heidi K. Brown. It, I highly recommend this book for any introverted law student or lawyer. Um, Heidi Brown herself um, actually was a, a litigator for about 20 years, um, 10 years or something like that. But the point is she uh, is a highly experienced licensed attorney. She went from doing law in uh, New York. She has a remarkable story. I totally recommend that you guys check her out and her book, The Introverted Lawyer. Um, she talks a lot about how law school and the legal profession can take for granted in a way or just misunderstand and completely drop the ball on the learning process of introverted students and also the way they communicate versus extroverted students and legal professionals. So there's a lot of information in that book, lots of science-based research that and experience also, lots of experience in her book talking about how to best appreciate the introverted process of learning and communicating. So it's a remarkable book. I'm only like, I'm not even like halfway through it yet because I'm in the middle of bar prep, but it's, it's totally amazing. I actually found that book by way of a podcast. I forget the name of the podcast, but I'll find it for you guys. It was about an hour long. Totally amazing. It was, I was so compelled by the podcast. I bought the book from Amazon. So I totally recommend it. It's definitely already helped me in understanding what I should be doing while preparing for the bar exam, how I should be communicating, how to be patient with myself and what that means, you know, also how to be patient with others and understanding the difference between introverts and extroverts and how we communicate differently, how our processing, uh, our brain processing works differently 
on the physical, scientific, biological level and how that translates into actual behavioral patterns and um, expressions. So totally recommend the book. Uh, but I am going to cut it right there. I am now about to go ahead and eat lunch. I'm going to watch me something on Disney Plus because I don't want to do anything to do with the news right now with all that's going on in the world. So I'm going to do that, drink lots of water, probably do some yoga later on, and just be working on my review and MBE questions for today. So thanks for tuning in again, and I will see you guys soon.